some water and I'm actually gonna be adding legendary foods pecan pie almond butter to it I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this um guys this legendary foods freaking all these nut butters are so good I highly recommend like this has little chunks of pecan in them I also got the apple pie one that one has literally chunks of apple pie so these are so 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 good and just very different from like a regular nut butter so that's why i really like them i like to switch it up and yeah so obviously you guys know that's gonna be my breakfast for today um i did my check-in this morning so i'm gonna give you guys an update on that but i'm just gonna eat this quick because i've been up for like two hours now and i haven't eaten and i'm starving so i will see you guys after breakfast Okay, right, so I decided I was gonna curl my hair and get ready for the day, but I wanted to show you guys um, what I do when I curl my hair. I've showed you before, but um, I just wanted to show it again and also say that I don't do anything special for my hair. I have no hair care routine. I literally just use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. That's it. I do put heat on it every single day. I don't have any like serums or any protectants that I use. I really, I don't do anything special. I just don't cut it. Um, like my ends are split. They're, my hair's not really not that healthy. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I hate that question because I don't have an answer for you and I feel really bad. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair. I use this Brazilian blowout straightener just because it's the one that I have, but I have used a Walmart one before. Like it doesn't matter what straightener you have. It's more about the technique. So, so essentially I just take my hair, split it up into sections and I will take pieces, um, usually about that big depends how curled um, or how you know loose you want your curls that's how big you're gonna take your strands and basically I just put my hair in and I do a I think it's a 180 spin um, I'll get closer to show you guys but basically I just put it in there and I spin it around like that and just pull them and I literally just do this throughout my entire head. And once it comes out, I just like to twirl it to kind of like get the full curl. And then I just put it to the back and continue and do the rest of my head. So that's all I do. It usually takes me about like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I will see you guys afterwards. All right guys, so I'm actually just gonna head out to go to the grocery store super quick. I always have shit playing in the background. So I'm just going to do a food shop really quick. It's probably not going to be too big, but I'll show you guys everything that I get. And that's kind of it. So I'm also actually going to grab a snack really quick. I want to show you guys where are they. My goodness knows. They're in gas stations. They're kind of everywhere, but I never really gave them a shot before. But they're good. Um, I had a blueberry one last night. Blueberry dark chocolate maybe. Um, but there's honey almond bourbon vanilla. With dark, all of these have dark chocolate, um, mocha and almond with dark chocolate, and then maple, cinnamon, and almond with dark chocolate. So I'm actually going to eat one of these. What should I try? I think I'm going to try this one, the maple, cinnamon, and almond. So it just comes as like four little squares, but it, it kind of tastes like candy because of the chocolate. Um, but I, I like the way that these come because I eat them super slowly because like I'll just eat one and then kind of like go do something and then I'll come back and eat another and then go do something but it's like that nice sweet taste in my mouth like the whole time. I don't know if that's like weird or like very like high I'm on a diet type of statement but that's how I feel about them. They're actually really good though. They taste like candy so. Mm. Yeah. 
I really like these. But yeah, so that's pretty good. So that's what I'm going to be eating um, as a little snack as I run errands. So I will see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> and then I'll give you a little prep update. Um, but yeah, that wasn't too big of a food shop. I still have a decent amount of stuff at home, but I just wanted to grab a few things. So that's kind of it, and I will see you guys once I get home. All right guys, so I just got home. I wanted to do a little prep update because I actually checked in with my coach on Tuesday and then again today, but I haven't updated you guys since last Friday, I believe. So on Tuesday, I was 109.2, which my prior weight before that was 109.8. That was last Friday. So 109.2 on Tuesday. My coach ended up dropping my macros just a little bit, but adding in another refeed. So it's going to be five days of consecutive, like a little bit lower macros, and then two consecutive refeeds. So my refeeds, basically, it's just um, 190 carb, 45 fat, 120 protein. So essentially, I just get more carbs that day. Fats and proteins stay the same. And yeah, so that's really awesome. I got the double refeed. So today is actually gonna be my last like low day and then I get my two refeeds um, tomorrow and Sunday. So I'm really excited about that. But anyway, so that was Tuesday's check-in. So that was like the adjustments that were made. And then today I woke up and I was 107.6 love this part of prep where it's almost like every single day you see changes um you know like new lines new striations like just like tighter here like it's daily changes it's so freaking cool i just like love how your body does that so anyways it was 106 107.6 today you guys saw my physique update in the beginning of the video so yeah we're on a roll here so he didn't make any changes um today as of now i'm still the same as my tuesday update so yeah, that's kind of it for my update. I'm two weeks out um, tomorrow, so that's so insane. Like, literally next week, my update will be, hello, hi, I'm gonna start peak week. Like, I can't believe we are freaking here. So anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of it. That's my update. And I will be showing you guys my refeed days um, this weekend, so stay tuned for those videos. Again, if you don't know like why we do refeeds, it's basically in very simple terms to obviously refuel your body after giving it, you know, low food throughout the week um, or for consecutive days in a row. And also it just helps to kind of keep your metabolism from adapting to those low macros so that that doesn't just become your new normal. It kind of just like spikes your metabolism, like, hello, here's more food, keep working, keep going. Like, don't adapt to this low intake as your new normal because once your metabolism adapts, that's, like I keep saying, your new normal. So um, to get leaner or lose body fat, you have to just keep going lower and lower and lower and we really don't want to have to keep doing that. So that kind of is a nice little spike. That's kind of why we do it and also obviously personal reasons to help keep you sane and you know just give you more food like i said um my carbs are the only thing that change really on a refeed um i get a lot of questions about it i did also talk about this in episode 25 so if you were wondering go back and reference that but anyways that's kind of it this is kind of my update
Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my lunch now. And I wanted to show you guys these. I got these um, in the mail from this brand called Outer Isle. And they're basically just cauliflower like sandwich um, things. They also make pizza crust, which is why I got that uh, sauce at the grocery store. But basically, for one of these, which I use two because I make like a sandwich, um, two and a half fat, two carb, four protein for one. So multiply that by two. Um, they taste phenomenal too. Fresh cauliflower, eggs, and Parmesan cheese. So it has like that cheesy type of taste to them and they're freaking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an egg sandwich actually. So I've just been doing half a cup of egg whites, one slice of the 2% um, Kraft Singles cheese, and then two of these, and it tastes so good. It reminds me of like a dirty egg sandwich, like a cheat. It's so, so tasty. So that is cooking, and then I just put some butter spray on these, and I'm gonna throw these on pan as well, just to heat them up. Okay, so I also forgot I did 50 grams of asparagus as well for lunch. So this is going to be my lunch. I'm so excited. I literally love these sandwiches. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my snack for the afternoon. Um, it's about three o'clock now. So what I've been doing and what I've been absolutely loving is you guys have seen me make like nachos before, but I've just been making chips, like it, obviously the same way I make the nachos but just eating them with the Laughing Cow Swiss cheese and just kind of like dipping it a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make those. I have actually just been using the microwave. It works so well um, and way quicker than the air fryer. So basically what I do is I cut them into triangles, which isn't totally necessary, but that just makes them be like chips. And I spray them with butter spray and put a little bit of salt and that's kind of it. I put it in the microwave for a minute. I obviously have to do like um, a little bit at a time, but they only take a minute and then they're good to go and they taste so good So yeah, anyways, this is the bread that I use. I'm gonna use one whole one So I think it's like 16 carbs for this whole thing of chips. I'm so excited right now So I'll go ahead and make these um, and just kind of like breeze through it and show you guys and then eat these and figure out the rest of my day Um, like I said, I used the Laughing Cow cheese just to kind of like dip my chips into. But literally this whole freaking container of chips is uh, 16 carb, 3 fat, 10 protein. What? And they're like actual chips. Like, yes. And like with the butter spray, they actually taste so good. So this is like one of my favorite snacks right now. Super like low calorie, but actually kind of like filling and also just like now, I don't want to say fun to eat, but you know how sometimes you just snack because you're bored and it's like entertaining? Well, that's kind of like how I feel when I'm eating these. Like, So anyways, I'm obsessed with this snack. Definitely try this out. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to eat this and then I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so I just finished up filming a Fashion Nova haul and now I'm eating my dinner. So it's actually half a cup of egg whites, two ounces of deli turkey. Um, 85 grams of rice cauliflower medley and then two ounces of mushrooms so literally I always eat breakfast for dinner but that's what I'm having for dinner and then probably within the next hour or so I'm gonna head to the gym so you guys will be seeing my workout in the next few clips
satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm reaching out for the easy high Please fortify the strength of my So I just got home. I'm starving and exhausted. I want to make my night snack and get my shit done and go to bed. So I'm gonna make these protein like kind of pancakes, but they're super thin So they're gonna be like crepe-ish roll type things. So I'm gonna be using one and a quarter scoop of level one um, One egg white water to make the batter that uh, right consistency and then I think I'm topping it with PB fit and then one buff bake uh, little sandwich cookie I'm just gonna crumble it up and put it on top And then I do like to leave some batter to drizzle over. Yes, there are raw egg whites, but I really don't care. So here's my random ass protein like rolls. Um, and then I'm just gonna drizzle the rest of the batter. And then I have my PB fit. I'm just gonna kind of keep this on the side and then take little bites with it instead of drizzling it. And then this, this was the buff bake little cookie and I'm just gonna crumble it on top. Literally such a random meal but so good honestly. So yeah that's honestly it for the night. I'm just going to finish up my email list. I have to get that ready to go because it needs to be sent out tomorrow morning and probably edit this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.